I really wanted an analytically based business program um, and I found the faculty came from that, uh, that uh, approach and that background um, and when I looked at the makeup of most of the classes, uh, not all engineers certainly, but a, a large number of engineers, and so I felt it would have the character that would fit my style and, and my uh, thinking process, which certainly is very analytically based. So for me, it was a, just a wonderful fit. Um, although I also learned a lot from the non-engineers who were in the program, and the diversity of the program um, members and participants really had a big impact on me in terms of the richness, I think, of the learning experience. I think the case study method is uh, by far the best way to think about problem solving and how to tackle problems, so that is ingrained in the, the Cranert uh, way of teaching. Um, you're not going to become an expert um, on finance or an expert on marketing or an expert on accounting by going through the MBA program, but you're going to be exposed to principles and concepts which you're then going to be able to draw on later. Um, and that's why it was so important to me. You know, an undergrad in engineering, a minor in economics, uh, didn't really prepare me for some of the business decisions that I was starting to be pulled into. And so getting this very good grounding in finance, um, in marketing, uh, was very, very helpful as I went forward, took on more responsibilities, and had to make decisions that um, interfaced with a lot of those other functions. I felt like I could have a dialogue about the M&A model and discounted cash flow, which prior to coming to graduate school, I would not really have, have understood. It's a big weight that you carry every day. We use the words assured communications to describe uh, the brand that we try and deliver to our customers. And almost always we're talking about a mission critical application, whether it's communications in a war zone where life or death can, uh, can hang in the balance of being able to, to get the information through, whether it's protecting the air travel uh, public in the U.S. with our FAA network, uh, or whether it's uh, providing communications to an oil rig in the Gulf of Mexico or the North Sea, uh, these are mission critical uh, applications. And while lives aren't always at stake, uh, business and dollars are always at stake. And so it's a responsibility that I, I take seriously. EO, I've got a much harder job than my predecessors of 20 years ago. And I think my successors of 10 to 20 years from now are going to have an even tougher job. Uh, because you really have to, therefore, as an executive, you've got to have the whole package. You've got to have the analytical uh, understanding to make decisions. You have to understand how to manage processes, how to develop strategy. But ultimately, the more, I think, challenging part is around leadership and the people element. Uh, business moves much quicker. Technology moves much quicker. Competitors are more nimble. And we operate in a global environment. Um, how to do that as well as we did when we were in a small market or regional environment is many, many times more challenging. And so the leaders of tomorrow have to be really good at managing more and more and more things. Uh, technology helps us, uh, but I still think it's about leading people. Um, and how you do that in diverse, global, multicultural organizations is a big challenge. Um, I think today Cranard is focused more on those skills than in the past and I think it will serve tomorrow's business leaders well as a result. Mm -hmm.